We are live. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, 1994Q-Dog, and I am back at you with another reaction video. And seeing as you guys like uh, my hoof care slash, you know, hoof trimmer videos, I I'll try to come out with one, you know, every, at least one every week for you guys. Or, yeah, I'll try to do one every week. Now, this is a new channel that we're reacting to, and this channel is called Nate the Hoof Guy. Go subscribe to him if you like this video and the content he provides. Subscribe here if you like the content. Like, share, and subscribe here if you like the content I provide. So, today's hoof care video that we're looking at, it, its title really drew me to it. It says, Cow, Cow's Hoofs, Hoofs, Cow, Cow's Hoof Blows Bubbles Instant Relief. Give you a full picture right there. And that's a bubble for sure. Uh, sorry guys, I'm getting a little bubble guts right now, but no, nah, I'm messing. Not really bubble guts. I had to burp, but it's, I don't know. No, nah, I don't. I don't know. Maybe it might come out as a fart later. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Back to this. Yeah, this is more of a full frontal view of the bubble. Let's see how it, let's just hop in and see what happens. Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we've got 979 in the shoot and she is favoring her right front foot. So we need to get to work on that and figure that out. Little announcement for you guys. Tonight, Saturday, August 28th, 7 p.m. on my YouTube channel, I'm going to be going live. So if you guys have questions, it'll be a perfect time to ask those. So, 7 p.m. Okay, uh, guys, this is uh, an older video of his, so I'm pretty sure this moment has passed. Full disclosure here, I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure this moment has passed. But go check out uh, his channel, like I said, subscribe. You'll, you, I'm sure you'll learn more about when he does his next live stream. Stay here when you want to find out when I do my next live stream or when I do a live stream. I haven't done any yet, but... Yeah, it's in the works. It's in the works. But um, yeah, man. Like uh, yeah. So just be forewarned. Yeah, I'm sure that date has passed. Uh, I, yeah, like I said, just go check, do your research on it. And make yeah. But I said questions. Be a right. Perfect time to ask those. So 7 p.m. tonight. Saturday, August 28th. It's, it's, 7 p.m. Central Time. That's 8 okay. o'clock on the East Coast. Hey. 5 o'clock on the West Coast, and if you're elsewhere in the world, well, you're going to have to figure out that time, depending on where you are. Back to this foot. It appears like you've got a white line leading. So, so, yeah. Let's keep going. You see, that oh, date's already passed. Just clarifying. No more talking for me while he's gone, though, right now. Ah, oh, that's BS. As soon as I start talking, he wants to stop. Okay. That's just my luck. Anyway, but yeah. That date is definitely passed, guys. I guess this proves I don't really pre-watch these videos because I had no idea he was just going to stop talking, so. But, hey, man, his... And sure enough, there it is. A lot of the pain associated with these types of lesions occur from the pressure building up inside that foot due to the infection caused by that crack that has developed in that white line. That crack develops from the inside as it works its way out and becomes exposed to the outer elements and gets in there, gets infected, and that pressure begins to build. When we open this up, that releases that and gives that cow immediate relief. But of course, we're not done there. We've released some of that pressure, but in order to get this foot fully healed, we need to open this up the rest of the way, remove any of the loose horn that's around that, and give it ample space for that fluid to drain and the lesion underneath to heal. Sounds like he's cutting potatoes right now, doesn't it? This cow got some rough, rough hooves. I was about to say rough feet, I guess. I guess I can say that. Very rough feet. Let me pause real quick. Now that I say that, though, there is a thing, bro. These cows boil with their feet, man. They got to... I don't know. I'm probably associating them too much with humans, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's probably what's going on there. Because I'm like, bro, come on now, man. I don't know if y'all intentionally walking over the shit that y'all know is going to fuck up your feet or what. But, who you, you know, who knows?
bloody water. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I do know how I feel about it, but you know what I mean. Um, it is what it is. Phone is being a punk right now. I, I had it on the charger, guys. I swear. I, I swear. Had it on the charger. I'm the captain now. I don't know what he is spraying on that foot. Oh, say it. Don't spray it. I almost sprayed stuff on my phone, man. I'm sorry, guys. It appears like, once again, we have got a small stone lodged in that crack. If you remember back just a couple videos ago, we had a foot that was absolutely packed full of stones, just like this. We had to clean that entire area out. The more we worked, the more of those little stones came out of there. You can see how they could cause a problem. Actually, the update video on that cow will be coming out on Wednesday, so check back for that. But back to this foot. We still got a little bit more to remove here to fully open this up, and then we'll finish treating her and let her go. Oh, my goodness. That's a long ass crack down that foot right there, man. And all the notifications today too, man. I don't know what's going on. People going live on YouTube on uh Mondays apparently. It's the day to get these videos out. Well, I'm getting mines out too, guys. No, I just did this because you know, like I said, this is a hobby of mine, and I like reacting to this type of stuff. Why not share it with you guys? Zoom in once again, and you can see the entirety now of this crack. The stuff that I'm touching right now is soft horn tissue. We don't want to remove that. Also, I'm very competitive, so yeah, if everybody's putting out videos, I'll be damned if I'm not putting out a video today. And I claim to be a YouTuber, right? So yeah, videos going out today. No, I'm listen, but honestly, yeah, this is a lot more tame than uh. Huff GP, or it seems like it anyway, just like with his, he, he doesn't talk near as much as uh, Huff GP, not saying either style is bad, it's just noticing the different styles of videos, and uh, still very educational though, um, it's definitely letting us know what the deal is here, and uh, he wasn't lying, that was, it's weird though that that's one little stone did that big crack, but that, you never that's know. That's actually uh, live tissue still. If I were to remove that, I'd be causing damage to that underlying corium. I don't want to do that. I've got this crack exposed now, and that's going to allow that new horn to form there and harden up and completely fill this sole back in. Now I just need to finish trimming this foot up and get this other claw prepped ready for a block. This next step is probably becoming quite repetitious for those uh, hardcore fans of my channel, but I get a lot of new viewers each time, so I explain it each time. But this rubber block is put on here to elevate that injured claw off the ground, prevents it from weight being applied to it so it can heal better. Now I'm just adding some salicylic acid powder to that. What that does is kills any uh, digital dermatitis, the bacteria that caused that, I should say, that could be present, and give her a little pain relief in the meantime. The name salicylic acid sounds harsh, but really it's very similar to the active ingredient in aspirin, and that's why it gives it some pain relief. So nothing too dangerous here, nothing harmful. For I like that he explained that because I was wondering about that myself. Like, what the hell is salicylic I can't even really say it, like, right off the back right now. I'm kind of, like, slurring my tongue a little bit. But, yeah, I'm glad he explained that it, well, yeah, you know, he just explained it because I was like, ah, oh, I don't know what that is, man. So you know, it's always good when people use bigger words. Don't you don't just use big words to use them. If you use a big word and somebody clearly doesn't understand what you're talking about, please explain. Explain. So that one that's very pretentious of you to just use the big word, knowing that I don't know what the hell or whoever's listening to you doesn't know what the hell you're talking about. Two. It makes you more relatable, makes you more of a likable guy. I'm not saying you have to dumb yourself down, but hey, at least learn some dumb vernacular, you know what I'm saying? Some words are like lit, or okay, you don't probably have to work, learn the word lit, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, stay, stay, sorry guys, I keep having to do this, like my, it's weird, man, my screen keeps dying, but yeah, just, you know, try and keep up with 
some of the new lingo. You don't have to just stay, learn every new lingo, but you know what I mean? I always try and stay up with, not that I'm that old or anything, but, you know, just try and stay up with what's happening now, you know, just so I know if a kid comes up to me talking that bullshit nonsense. Well, kind of not really, but yeah, if a kid comes up talking, talk, comes up to you talking that bullshit, at least you know what the hell he's saying. Put peel your cat back, muffin top blue, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit. At least you know this kid, he's a crackhead. No, but anyway, back to the video, yeah. Nothing too dangerous here, nothing harmful for that cow. Helps that heal quite nicely. I don't know why I did my lip like that. That was weird. He's a lot more quiet than the Nate the Hoof guy. And here you can see that rubber block in action as she applies weight to that. I want to say yet again, that's not a bad thing. Neither style is good or worse. Neither style is better or worse than the other. It's just different styles. That's all I'm pointing out. Once again. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget... All right, guys, and that was that was really all he wanted to, to show us about the, uh, the I, I ain't gonna lie, this one I as you guys can probably tell I didn't pre-watch this I don't really pre-watch any of my videos except maybe the Nate the Hoof Guy ones if I'm almost sure that it's gonna be bloody just so I know to warn you guys how bloody it gets but this one normal videos I don't pre-watch I just usually watch uh, record and upload sorry I had to move that way because. The light for some reason was making my face look weird but um yeah uh, i hope you guys like that reaction if you did leave a like share and subscribe and uh come check out my channel i'm posting videos like every day reacting to different things i just get a lot of big views from my hoof care videos so you know if you guys want to see me react to something new or something that you guys want to see me react to Leave a link down in the description or, you know, give me a title to a video or tell me to go check out the channel. I will. I'm not afraid to uh, challenge my thoughts or beliefs on anything, you know. When you're securing your thoughts and your beliefs, you it's a very freeing because you have a lot more experience to go into other things like anything, really, and, you know, such your way through it. So, um... With that being said, didn't mean to get on a little rant there, but uh, I hope you guys liked this video reaction. Uh, if you did, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I always got to throw out that subscribe. You guys know it's not that important to me, but it does help me with the algorithm and does let me know that I'm on the right path with the videos I'm, or the, in the right direct, going in the right direction with the content I'm putting out. And like I said, you know, it just lets me know how many people are watching what video and whatnot and uh and it also helps the channel grow because i want to do some crazy stuff with the channel but it all depends on it's a reciprocal thing you know what i mean so uh right now i'm just going to give y'all good content you know you got i'm not expecting anything from y'all except maybe liking the share i hope i get a subscribe i hope like the quarter and says i hope i earned your subscription but uh yeah uh, with that being said, yeah, man, leave, uh, leave in the comments if you guys have anything y'all want me to react to, check it out. I'm free to react to it, man. I'm very good at empathizing, so. Uh, any new plans for any new videos that I have coming out later on? Oh, I might, uh, my sister wanted me to do a, uh, JK, or... She didn't want me to do it, but she brought up to me that I should probably do a JK Rowling video just on where I'm at with that whole situation and uh, I'm always a huge JK Rowling fan and I'm still a huge supporter she, she's had my support since the Harry Potter book she still has it so keep your eyes open for that video alright I've been rambling on long enough I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm not gonna say what I said earlier again so alright till the next video guys 1994 Q-Dog is out